Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to take some simple items, some watercolors, watercolor paper, my personal favorite watercolor brush, an eyedropper, and a very small amount of water, and I am going to do a challenge. This is what I believe started off as like a tea stain or coffee stain challenge. Well, I'm going to do a paint stain because I don't want to waste my coffee. <laughs> So I uh, actually had a really hard time opening up my uh, watercolors for some reason. These are from Five Below. These are the pearlescent watercolor set they have. So I'm actually going to prepare some like really concentrated like dirty paint water, I guess, and use that to create my drips that I am then going to turn into little pieces of art. So I have soaked my brush as much as I can and I'm kind of picking out my color right now and I decided to go with this green because it's pretty close to what my favorite color is. Um, it did end up being a little bit light and I ended up kind of adding a little bit more of like the kind of bluish green to it just to beef up the color a bit. But I'm just kind of scooping out as much of the pigment as I can and dabbing it into the water. You can actually see how cool it looks with all the pearlescent pigments kind of floating around. And then I kind of tested it here. I just squeezed in a little bit of that pigment into the eyedropper and dropped it down. Wasn't pigmented enough, added that blue, like I said, and then uh, managed to create my first droplet. Now I'm moving on to some different colors. I'm doing pink and a purple. And this is what they looked like when I first dropped them. Of course, I ended up picking them up and moving them so my cats wouldn't ruin them and ended up getting some drips on either side. As you can see, there's definitely some added shapes here. Um, it kind of frustrated me at first because I thought I was going to make it harder, but I guess that's kind of the point of the challenge. Uh, so I decided I was just going to roll with it. And I think the pearlescence kind of came out all right, not perfect, uh, but I don't hate the way it turned out. And I think it's time for me to start going through the drama of trying to figure out what these shapes look like to me. So I'm starting with the green one here and I had a couple of ideas for this and uh, surprisingly almost all of them ended up being water creatures. Um, I don't know why. Um, I had this idea for this turtle but I couldn't figure out how to make that drip at the bottom work um, and then I ended up deciding kind of looks like a seahorse so that is the design I ended up going with. I actually like this digital one that I did when I was kind of coming up with my ideas better than the one I ended up with so kind of glad I have that uh, image of the first one. But um, I'm just going to be taking my pencil here and outlining everything to create that uh, shape. So I'm starting with this little nose up here. Um, I feel like this reminded me of the, the Pokemon horsey specifically, and that might be kind of what made me think of a seahorse. Also the fact that those little water droplets behind like make perfect little bubbles. Um, I started kind of giving it these like dragon scales at the top and uh, trust me, I, I know that they look ugly. I end up going back and fixing them a little bit later. Um, my first kind of set of these, I wanted to do all water creatures, but I thought it seemed too easy and not creative enough. So I ended up, you know, running through a couple of different ideas so that I'd get enough variety coming out of each of these. Um, but I do like the little set of the water creatures that I made where they all have these like big cute black eyes with little, little white dots on them and all the splatters behind them became like bubbles for like an underwater scene. I thought it was really cute, but again, I wanted to try to be a little bit uh, original and challenge myself to do something different with each one. So now that that's done, it's time for the pink guy, which I thought, ooh, perfect, it looks like a fish. Um, but then I was like, man, got a branch from a water creature and I didn't stray too far. I ended up deciding on this mermaid design. Um, I think it took me not too hard for me to see it. Obviously I turned it this way first and I was like, oh, that's such an obvious fish. But I feel like when you flip it this way, it's definitely a more obvious mermaid, I guess, with like the big flowing hair. Um, people are not my forte. They are not my strong suit when it comes to art, but I, once again, wanted to push myself, challenge myself a little bit. Um, and once again, I really like the digital version I did of her a little bit better than uh, the one that I hand drew. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe because I just, I was used to seeing her the way I'd done her first before I ended up sketching her out this way, but you can kind of see how I'm kind of adding in like her arms and her hair and where the tail kind of fits. I didn't try to force myself to stay inside the lines. If there was something that kind of popped outside the edges, I thought it was fine so long as it worked and, and I mostly used the stain for most of it. 
I also considered going in with like different shades of the, of the color and kind of coloring it in and adding a little bit extra, uh, but I decided against it because I thought it kind of wasn't in the spirit. You know, coloring over and trying to <laughs> mask any mistakes doesn't seem in the spirit of the challenge. So um, faces are hard for me. I've always had this kind of style where I just do like um, almost like an eyelid and then like a, a little dot underneath. Um, and no nose, uh, it's just kind of always what I've done. I don't think it's it's terrible looking, but um, yeah, I think I think she is definitely mermaid looking. And that's what's important. <laughs> um, now the purple one was probably the bane of my existence. I tried a hundred thousand things here, and I'm only going to show you a couple, uh, including like Baymax and like. Um, uh, you know, the rock on sign or the Satan symbol like I'm doing here. I, I don't even know what symbol that is exactly. The internet said a couple things. I really liked this, uh, you know, sea creature octopus idea, but I thought it was cheating because obviously I was just using the blob as a blob with the ink and not really as a shape. So I decided against that, plus the whole original originality thing from earlier. And then I was like, oh man, it kind of looks like a ghost. Maybe I can draw Casper. Um, and then I put this little white Casper head on the little purple body and I thought it looked ridiculous. So I ended up kind of moving it around this way and saying, you know, that kind of looks like a nest. I bet I could make a, a cute little set of birds in here. Um, and I thought because the bird was kind of angled so far over, I ended up adding like a second little baby bird. Um, and in this version of it, when I did it on paper, I didn't end up having the birds sleeping because I thought their eyes looked weird when they were sleeping. Um, once again, I, I think I like the sleeping birds a little bit better. I don't think this one turned out badly though. I wouldn't say I like one better than the other. I think they're just different. Um, so here I am kind of creating this bird shape, the nest shape, and I'm giving her some open eyes. I'm really nervous about it obviously because I didn't want them to look as ugly as the sleeping eyes did. I ended up doing the same kind of bird eyes I did when I did my first digital art drawing ever. Um, it's not bad. I think it, it it's a bird eye. It definitely looks like a bird. Uh, and I easily could have stopped here, but once again, I just wanted to add in a little baby bird and, you know, make it a cute little family moment. Had his little beak open and he's looking up at his mama. Maybe because he's hungry, I don't know. Didn't think too far ahead about it. Um, this is kind of where I really wanted to color it in because I think it would have looked really cute if I would have, you know, colored him in purple too so he matched, but didn't seem in the spirit, so. Uh, the only thing I hadn't done here that I'm going to do when I go into ink is the branches in the uh, nest. So I'm going to use a Pilot G2 pen to ink over all of these and finally finish up. This pen didn't love the watercolor. Uh, it kind of started skipping a little bit in some areas, but I, I do think it, it got the job done and that's what's important. Everything kind of came together here and a lot of my big insecurities when it was in pencil kind of uh, finished up. I cut them out into their own individual little bits. I don't know what I'm going to use these for. I don't know if I will ever use them, but I think they actually came out kind of cute and this was a lot of fun. And don't get me wrong, this was exceptionally challenging for me who's someone who tends to kind of draw inspiration from things I've seen before and then make them my own. This one really had to be... 100% my own because there was really nothing else to look to and no inspiration to find just really what was in your own head um, So if this is something that interests you I definitely recommend you giving it a try and I'd love it if you guys do try this to send me what you do Maybe on Twitter. Uh, it's Briy on Twitter much like my YouTube channel name is um, yeah, I think that's all I had to say. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave your comments down below what you think you would have done if you were given these exact shapes. I'm really curious to see maybe what you saw in the, uh, in the plain blobs. And with that said, I hope to see you next week for another video at noon Eastern Standard Time. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you then. Bye!